Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am back with you guys with another video. I know it's been a minute. I'm just kidding. It has been a while. Maybe it's been a while. Who knows? But I'm back with another video. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. Today, I have a video on something different. Absolutely. You know me. Always trying to bring something different to you guys. So today, I'm going to be talking about residential driving. I'm going to give you four reasons why you should do the speed limit in residential neighborhoods. Without further ado, I'm gonna get right into the video, so let's get into it. Reason number one, when you're driving in a residential neighborhood, you never know what can come out right in front of you. People, cars, animals, kids, things, anything you can think of could really jump right in front of you. So you wanna make sure you're doing the speed limit so you're not hitting anything that you don't want to hit. All right, that's reason number one. Reason number two, without further ado, it is getting pulled over. That is one way to get pulled over. If you don't want to get pulled over, do the speed limit. You will be fine. And you won't get any speeding tickets or even worse, any jail time. All right, you never know. If you're going fast enough, they can get you. Reason number three, you want to make sure you're doing a speed limit because you never know there's unexpected blockage, unexpected construction zone areas, unexpected things going on that are not being shown on the map, on Google Maps, or any sort of you know app that you're using to get around. Reason number four, and that's this is my final reason for you guys, you look like an a-hole. That excuse my language, but you look mean on the road, driving like a maniac in a residential neighborhood, knowing you should not be driving that fast. It's not a good idea, so don't do it. The smart thing would be to do the speed limit. You could be late getting wherever you need to get to. That's okay. In most cases, it's okay. Even if it's a job, hey, listen, you gotta get to a girlfriend, you gotta get to your boyfriend, it's fine. Stuff happens, they can wait. Work and wait. Do the speed limit. This video is not a sponsor. I just would like to bring awareness to people about the speed limit and why the signs are posted and why people should more often do the speed limit. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Those are my four reasons as to why you should do the speed limit in a residential neighborhood. Make sure to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, I really, really appreciate you guys. Stay blessed and stay humble. I will see you guys on my next video. Take care.